Parsec is great for collaboration. I'm a game programmer, and I can code from anywhere in the world because I use Parsec to access a powerful workstation back at my studio, one that has all the software and processing power I need to develop the complex code that I work on every day. That means I can use my old laptop without having to worry about long build times and slow processing, and that makes my job much easier. However, despite having a fast machine at my fingertips, sometimes I just get stuck, especially when I'm working on some really complicated logic. When that happens, the best remedy is usually a little bit of paired programming, but that can be a challenge when your entire team works remotely. Luckily, Parsec and Parsec for Teams makes remote collaboration easier than doing it in the office. With features like monitor switching, exclusive input mode, and an approved apps list, Parsec gives me full control over my collaboration sessions. Let's look at how I'm using Parsec and Parsec for Teams to collaborate with my colleagues and why it's so great for my workflow. Before my colleague and I can start pair programming, I'll need to give them access to my development computer. The simplest way to do that is to log into the Parsec app on the computer and click the share button. This will expose a link that I can share with my coworker. Once they have it, they can enter it into their Parsec app and join my development computer as a guest. However, this isn't the only way to provide access. Because I use Parsec for Teams, my development computer is already accessible to others in my studio. That's because my Parsec for Teams admin has set this machine up so that anyone on our development team can access it, which we can see here in the admin panel. The game development computer is assigned to the programmers group, which my pair programmer and I are both a part of. On top of that, the programmers group also has a connection with the artists group so that developers can accept incoming connections from them as well. That's important to the way I work because once I'm done debugging this code, I'll need to work with one of our artists to make sure that the logic is compatible with the artistic vision for our game. Since everything is set up correctly, my colleague and I should both be able to see and connect to the computer called Game Development in our Parsec app. But before we do that, here's a quick tip. Computers in Parsec for Teams have customizable identifiers, so try to give each one a meaningful name. That way your computers will be much easier to identify when it's time to get connected. Now that we're both connected, we can get to work. And luckily for us, Parsec is 100% compatible with all of the conferencing apps that we all know and love. So we can hop on a Zoom call and chat with each other while we work. On top of that, Parsec also supports multiple monitors and monitor switching. So if the computer we are collaborating on has multiple monitors, my connected guests will be able to see everything I'm doing. This is great for my workflow because I always try to spread my workspace across multiple monitors. For example, when I use Unity, I always keep the game view on its own dedicated screen. With Parsec, I know that my guests will be able to follow along as if we were both in the office and they were looking right over my shoulder. As you can see, collaborating with Parsec is super easy. But we can take things a step further by adjusting our computer settings to work even better when collaborating. To do that, we'll need to log back into Parsec on the host computer where we can adjust these settings. One really important setting to know is exclusive input mode, which we can find in the host settings section. When enabled, exclusive input mode limits mouse control to one guest at a time. This is really handy for when I need to play test with artists, like I mentioned earlier. I can show off how my new code affects gameplay without worrying about someone accidentally nudging their mouse and knocking me off a ledge. And while guests will be limited based on who has control, the host will always be able to take back control by simply moving their mouse. So you'll never have to compete over your collaboration sessions. Before we move on, it's important to note that all of the settings in the host settings section will apply to all connected guests. So options like host name, resolution, bandwidth limit, and any other feature in this section will affect each of your guests the same. This feature has many applications, but I find that the approved app list is particularly useful for playtesting. When I have players test my game, 
I like to observe them so I can take notes and capture their raw reaction to whatever game mechanic I'm having them test. The best way to do this with Parsec is to add my game to the approved app list and open it up in full screen mode before my guests connect. This locks them into my game, so I don't have to worry about them doing anything else. And if I need to take control or minimize the window for any reason, the screen will freeze for my guest and display the message, the host is doing something else right now. Please wait a moment. As you can see, Parsec and Parsec for Teams is well suited for collaboration and makes collaboration even better than doing it in person. If you'd like to learn more and try out Parsec for Teams, follow the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.